Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. Today we'll play Move It Up and one would say it looks like a Beat Saber clone, but it's not. It's um, very interesting. We have two sabers. We have to destroy the beats like in Beat Saber, but there are different modes. So first we have random generated levels and second we have some cool modes like uh, we have to fight against an enemy and we can punish this enemy by using uh, skills so he has smaller dots to hit. It's very interesting. So uh, I will show it to you. The video is sponsored by Bombing Technology. Thank you for that. But this of course does not have any influence on my opinion. As always, thank you to my sponsors Woodgirls VR, Oppermann Events, Anita Pelzer VR Ambassador, Alpha Blend Interactive and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go.
Wow. Yeah! Whew! Okay. Okay. The following are the basic rules of battle mode. Game goals in battle mode. The player who survives longer in battle mode is the winner. If both players survive at the end of the battle music, the player with the most remaining HP wins. The winning player can get BP reward, the losing player gets nothing. Special rules in battle mode skills. In battle mode, the rules for hitting the rhythm ball and scoring are the same as in other modes. The only difference is that the battle mode adds the skill feature. How to acquire skills? When you get 50 combo in battle mode, you will get one skill. You can only have two skills at most. One for each hand. Skill effectiveness. When using skills, two effects will be triggered at the same time. When you launch a skill, your opponent Rhythm Ball will have an attribute change. When your opponent launches a skill, your Rhythm Ball will also have an attribute change. When you use skills, you can also absorb the Rhythm Balls of the corresponding colors on your stage and directly convert them into scores. Skills can be fired with one hand or with both hands. One hand launch, when you acquire the skill with your left hand, press the trigger on the left Hand controller, you will release the skills of your left hand and at the same time absorb all the green balls on the stage. The opponent will be threatened by a ch change in the attributes of the rhythm ball. The right hand is used in the same way. Two handed launch. When you acquire skills with both hands, you can also select trigger with both hands pressed simultaneously. If you do this, all rhythm balls on your stage will be absorbed and your opponent will be double the threat. Skill duration. <coughs> when you launch a skill, you will first absorb the rhythm ball of the corresponding color in your stage and at the same time the opponent rhythm ball will have a 16 beat attribute change. Battle mode music is divided into several paragraphs. In the last 16 beats before the end of each paragraph, neither you nor your opponent can launch skills during this time. At this time, the skill interface will be displayed in gray. So yeah, that seems like a cool multiplayer mode. So when we when we hit the skill button, we can uh, <laughs> force the enemy to use smaller uh, uh, dots we have to hit or whatever, and moving dots or whatever. Let's just play it.
，哎，哇，哈。Ready? Wow! Oh! Wow, guys, that was uh, very interesting. So I I never played this kind of games in something like a multiplayer, and uh, you you can even uh, <laughs> give your enemy some uh, bad uh, stuff <laughs> when you when you uh, use the skills. Then it's even harder for him. 
<laughs> very, very interesting. So unfortunately, this is only a demo. I can't show you more, but this is perhaps gonna be very interesting in the final version. Let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Yeah, guys, move it up. To be honest, I expected just another boring Beat Saber clone, but uh, it's not. It's not. It's a good idea and uh, we have different modes. So first, the, the, uh, this rhythm experience has a random level generator. That means um, every level is different. It, it's random generated. This is the first thing that's uh, other than a Beat Saber and then we have different modes, of course. But for example, we have a survival mode. That means uh, the song is getting faster and faster and you have to survive and uh, um, get a good high score. Then we have the battle mode that we already saw. This is my highlight. We play against another player and we can use skills by using the triggers and then our uh, beats um, get away so we don't have to hit them and our enemy gets punished. That means uh, his dots are flying around or get smaller or faster. This is a really cool idea. I love this. Then we also have the solo mode. I, I showed that to you and a campaign mode that includes 120 levels uh, with, with some strange super weapons and you can uh, also collect diamonds then. It's interesting. I have no idea about the exact release date and no idea about the price. I would personally pay like 15 bucks for that, to be honest. Um, it's not Beat Saber, it's different, but it's interesting. I must say it's very interesting. So, you can play it with the Vive, the Rift, and as you saw with the Index as well. Should be no prob problem. And I think there, <coughs> there will also be a quest version, yes. For now it's on side quest, perhaps they will get it on the Oculus Store as well. So guys, I hope you liked it. If yes, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo.